Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see that how we can pass error and success message as we were passing in our function based view. So in today's video, we are going to see that how we can pass using class based view. So there is different method to pass error and success message. So first we are going to see that how we can pass success message and then we will see um, how we can pass error messages. So for that, first we need to import something. Okay, so I will import from Django Django dot contrib dot messages dot views import success message mixin. Okay, so this mixin will allow us to pass success message uh, through our class based view. So I will just copy this mixin and I will zoom little bit. Okay, yeah. Now I will paste that mixing here just in front of this generic dot create view and remember you need to paste this mixing at very first position if you will paste it last then it will not work okay so keep in mind that you need to paste it over here only okay after doing this we will write success message so success underscore message equals to I will say user has been created comma please log login with your user name and password okay so here what we are doing is we are redirecting user to login page once he creates the user okay so at login page we will display this message okay we have passed success message over here now we will go to login so login is already containing um, message success and error so we will not add any messages over here then we will um, add it here so i will just say messages dot success Here I pass request. You will see user logged out. Okay. Yeah. So why I am passing? Why I am not passing success uh, mixing over here? Because I have the created get method. Okay. Function I in I mean function get function and all operations are performed in this function right so i will just pass this as we were passing in our uh, function based view okay so in function based view we can pass like this only no matter what okay now come to profile i don't think so we need to pass any messages over here okay so this will be same only and now password success okay we are already redirecting the user to password success so we don't need to pass success message over here also okay so user update view hmm. okay so we need to pass success message over here so i will just paste that success mix in at the very first position and i will go above i'll just copy this uh, and I will paste it and I will just edit the message. Okay, so I'll say user updated. Cool. Okay, so we have done uh, passing success messages in our author's views. Okay, now we will go to main and we will go to views.py here and i will not pass success message on home page we don't need that we also don't need to pass on detail page only we need to pass in contact us so i will just say success mixing first i need to import that so i will just go here okay and i will just copy this line paste it over here again i will copy this success from the sign up 
copy and I will paste it in our contact right okay so um, your query has been submitted successfully we will contact you soon okay so this is also done now i will run my server okay so i will clear the terminal and i will say python manage.py run server i will open my browser and go to that page now i will try to fill out this form okay so i will say example exam example at the rate exam dot com okay i will say one two three sorry the block i will say hello i will say submit okay we are not seeing that message why okay we have not passed that mix in over here it's my bad i will just do this now it should show us so i'll go again i'll say example exam any email id and I'll say hello. I'll submit. Okay, you can see we have got the uh, success message. Okay, now we have passed success message all our forms. Now we are going to pass error message. Okay, so here there is one different technique to pass the error message. That is, first we will create function diff. Okay, then we will say form underscore invalid sorry it's underscore invalid and we will pass self comma self comma form then we will say hmm, messages dot add underscore message then we will say self dot request then i will say messages dot error okay and then here i will pass error please submit the form carefully okay this is our error message okay now we need to redirect that user to home page so you can return you can redirect any user to any page i am redirecting to home page just because we are checking for the error if error message occurs then that uh, user should redirect to the home page that's why i am doing this okay yeah. redirect home cool so here we have done error message okay we don't need here here cool so i'll just close this main views.py and i will go to authors views.py now here we need to pass error message so i will just copy because we are c we are checking for f o r m yeah so we are checking invalid in the l i d okay so see one thing we are checking for form underscore invalid because we are only creating that particular data using python forms okay we have created over here so it is easy for us to fetch the data and check for the validation so this contains only three lines of code otherwise if we would try using try fetching using that name attribute which i shown in python form 
name equals to something something then it would be like 10 line of code right so this makes very easy for us okay so we are fetching every data using form so this code will be similar in every function so i'll just copy this and i will close this again and i will paste this under the sign up so and i will just write the particular error message i will say um, please enter data details properly properly okay i will just save this then i will go to um login so in login um we are already passing the error and success message so we don't need that um logout will be always in success only so that is also not needed okay then to change password is already in success only okay success password okay so we need to pass it over here i will create one another method and i will paste that and i will say uh, please enter data carefully nothing else yeah this uh, this message will also be same only okay now yeah we have seen this how we can pass error and success message okay so i will go to sign up i will just refresh once and I'll, before that i will go to admin panel i log in using admin so i am logged in now i will um try to give an error so i will say admin 3 okay username will be admin 3 yash patel email id any and i will pass any random password and i will say create user okay so shift we need to do this mm, sorry create user you can see enter data enter the details properly okay so our error message is working fine and if i create example 50 our username will be this this will be the example only exam example one at regimen.com password will be yes yes 21 yes yes 21 okay i'll create user you can see user has been created successfully and here we can pass example 50 and i will say mm, why it's not logging in and, uh, okay so our example 50 has also logged in and you can see the error message okay cool so our error and success messages are working fine so in today's video we have seen that how we can pass error and success message in class based view okay so in next video we are going to do this uh, delete account button functional okay so we are already having this uh, update user and all function so we are going to do this delete account button function okay so this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one thank you